Today, we are constantly flooded with information on how to better our lives. From self-help books to courses, podcasts, or conferences, it feels like we can never catch a break or take a breather. If we wait just one moment or don't spend every waking minute of our life trying to better ourselves or extract a new piece of information from a self-help book, we are failing ourselves. If you're anything like me, you've probably felt the same feelings in the past couple of years. Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of developing myself and learning, but at a certain point, I think we all need a break from the constant self-help push and to relax. What if I told you that you could find that break yet still gain something of value in your creative pursuits? That's where the power of reading fiction comes in. Reading fiction has become a new habit of mine that developed during the start of the pandemic. While I was reading a ton of self-help books, I wanted something new to take my mind off learning so I could enter a new fantasy world. In the past, I felt like reading fiction was a waste of time. In my head, I thought the time I spent reading a fiction book could have been used to read a non-fiction one that would get me closer to my goals. This mindset of not liking fiction started when I was little. I could never get into these assigned readings in school because I often found the books boring or intimidating. But what allowed me to enjoy fiction was reading the Harry Potter books for the first time. Reading them pulled me into this magical fantasy world that I never had before. While reading fiction books, a surprising thing happened to me. I would feel more energized and inspired and more creatively filled up to tackle my pursuits. I wanted to share with you four ways that reading fiction has benefited my life. Number one, being your own hero. By far, one of the biggest reasons for wanting to read a fiction novel is the fact that it's told in the viewpoint of the hero. During the story, you see the hero's journey in a first person's view. You see the hero fall, get back up, try again, and eventually triumph to victory at the end of the story. Viewing myself as a hero is such a powerful way to go about life. Tapping into the mindset that you are the hero of your own journey gives you the confidence you need to take strategic risk in your own life. I recently took a hero's leap when I quit my job to make a career pivot and to also start my own freelance photography business. It was a scary decision to make, but I would much rather fail and try rather than never attempt it at all. Think about it. No one who reads Harry Potter wants to be the random kid sitting in the cafeteria. No, everyone wants to either be Harry, Ron, or Hermione. Those are the characters carving their own path and creating something special. Don't be afraid to be your own hero. Number two, feeling more creative. Whenever I get done reading a fiction book, I feel more creative. Even though I don't go into those fiction books with the goal of unlocking more creativity, I can't help but feel more inspired and more creative to create content. We've all felt like this after we watched a great movie, TV show, or playing video games, but compared to those other activities, when you read, you have to actively pay attention to what you're doing. You have to actively make sense of what you're reading in order to unlock the full creativity of the work. And just by doing that, you will unlock your mind to haul these new ideas to help you and inspire your life. A study by the University of Toronto said fiction readers are more creative thinkers and open-minded than non-fiction readers. Reading fiction helps them in decision-making and better judgment. Last year when I read Ready Player One, I remember feeling inspired to create a fictional world of my own. It inspired me to pick up my camera and start creating something. As I was reading it, I just had so many ideas flood my brain. Number three, life lessons. An unexpected benefit of reading fiction is the simple fact that there are life philosophies you can take away after reading the book. After I read Harry Potter, I understood the importance of how being courageous and curious can lead to great things in your life. It may seem silly that I'm pulling the ideas of courageousness and curiosity from a book quote unquote meant for teens, but those ideas can so easily transfer to your own life. All these books have a theme that guides the story, and if you look deep enough, you can find a lesson that can inspire your own life. The same way we get inspired when we watch a great movie, TV show, video game, anime, or sports is the same way we can get inspired when we read fiction books. Number four, fun. Finally, it's just fun reading a fiction book. Sometimes we put so much pressure on ourselves to succeed and to work hard all the time that we forget life is meant to be lived and to have fun. And in its simplest form, reading fiction provides me a lot of joy. I know I'm never gonna be disappointed after reading a fiction book. Yeah, I may disagree with what the author did with the plot, or maybe I don't like certain characters, but I've never once read, finished reading a fiction book and thought to myself, well, that was a waste of time. I'd never thought about that. And if you didn't pick up anything from this video, just remember to have fun while reading. These books are meant to provide you joy in life. I'm not telling you to put down your self-help books and to only read fiction, but if you find yourself in a creative funk, try reading a fiction book. You'd be surprised how much it can help inspire you. With love and respect, Yush.